Oh my gosh, please do not cut yourself. I did it. <laughs> What's going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a four hole vlog for the final stretch of Stonehouse at Temecula Creek Golf Club. Now the first five holes, if you haven't seen that vlog, be sure to check the link in bio below so that you don't miss a beat here. And now we are starting on hole six. We're gonna be playing six, seven, eight, nine. And we'll see how how I, how I work it out. Right now, this tee shot is looking pretty intimidating. Downhill, over a bunch of brush, tiny little fairway, and I'm playing off the blue tees. So, let's see how this goes. Got a six iron in hand. Bit of a blind shot here. I think that was okay. I, I really don't know, but I should have had enough club, so we'll check it out. I really didn't know where the ball ended up, but that was a hard lie because it was a tight lie, but it was wet at the same time. But I picked the plane and I'm really surprised. It's like four feet out, right to left downhill. Here we go. Woo! Up and down. Why is that such a grind? <laughs> <laughs> um, because we spent an hour I just tried to do a trick shot that's why I'm <laughs> exhausted you guys <laughs> I'm a little exhausted from my trick shot, but on the bright side, I am now fully relaxed, like in my arms because they feel like jello already. So I've been hit, I hit a good drive in the last one. We'll see how I do on this. One ball I have left, you guys. That was not a good backswing, but I think we're going to find it. We also may need to find some golf balls on the way. Oh that God. was that was not cute. I know. That was definitely not cute. It's 101. The wind is helping. I'm clearly just giving you guys a tour of the left forest on hole seven. Um, I don't recommend going here. I think there's a lot of animals that can really pop out of here. But I will say I have a shot. If you can see the pin underneath, I can get through the chute and make sure I get high enough. I should be good with a 50 degree. It's only a hundred yards. So here we go. Oh, I A little short, but we got over. So I'm a little short. I'm really grinding for my dime right now, but it's not too bad of a chip shot. I have a 55 degree and I'm going to try and bump it. Oh, sit. Sit down. Okay. All right, we can still make that. Ooh. 
That's in, guys. It's in. That's it. <laughs> That's in, you guys. Oh, I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's stuck. Okay. I'd very much like a birdie opportunity and not a grind for par opportunity. Okay, hole number eight, par three, 165, but it's gonna it's playing a little shorter right now with the wind helping as well. I literally have one ball left, you guys. I actually started this vlog with only one ball left. So this has now officially become the one ball challenge. And I'm really brave to do this on Stonehouse because I almost had a heart attack on that last hole. We found it. And now I got to close up on this part three, which I think will be fine. And then a hole with water. So let's see how I do. All right. This is going to play about 156. Wind downhill or wind with me, helping me. And I got a seven iron. I'm going to try and muscle it. I didn't lose it. <laughs> That's good. I have quite the lag cut here. It's right to left, uphill. The goal is just to lag it nice and close. Yep. I made three pars. With the way I've been grinding, it doesn't feel like that. Let's try and one, not lose a ball, two, get a birdie on this last hole. Okay. Go in the water. I <laughs> know. Is that a ball? <gasps> no. Okay. Ready? <laughs> Desperate. I know. All right, you guys. Final hole, par five. 555. Let's see how I take it on. Hey. That was a good swing. There you go. That's how it's supposed to be. Oh my gosh, please do not cut yourself. I did it! <laughs> when you lose all your ball, balls you trying to do trick shots. I found a ball. You risk your life for them. <laughs> I did. I mean, this is still technically a uh, one ball left in the bag challenge, but I'm just gonna keep this because I'll have to film again. Sorry, there's a mower guy right here. Uh, it's only 250 to the hole, but it's 180 to the water. So I'm just gonna be super safe, grab a six iron, throw it to the left, and that's, that'll go around between 150 to 160, maybe 160 with the rollout. And then that should leave me a good under 100 yard shot. Here we go. Okay, that should be good. I went a little left, but it's safe. So it's 109. I didn't hit my six iron so great out of the rough. Um, I'm in between club. I have a pitching wedge in hand because my my 50 degree only goes 103 max, and I'm not gonna risk that water. So I'm gonna try and hit a pitching wedge a little soft. I think it was good. I can't see over the flowers, but I went straight at it. So I guess we'll find out. Let's build this divot here. hit it one yard before the hole and it rolled all the way back but at least it didn't go in the water so what a bummer <laughs> uh, always fix your pitch marks
guys, that just about does it here at Stonehouse at Temecula Creek Golf Club. I think I showed you basically a lot of a lot of forests and a lot of hard places, but somehow I managed to walk away even far for this vlog. Almost made it here. Thought it, there was a chance it could go in the hole. Didn't happen this time, but I hope you all enjoyed today's vlog at Temecula Creek Golf Club. I highly recommend this course. Between this course, Stonehouse 9, and Pechanga, those are a couple of my favorite golf courses here in the Inland Empire. So be sure to give it a go if you happen to pass by here. Anyways, if you guys like what you see, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you don't miss a beat. Bye for now.